Hey guys, I'm Danielle from Wendell Woodworks and today I'm going to show you how I incorporate Mod Podge into my woodworking. Mod Podge is a great option for creating backers, for signs, for puzzles, and today it's going to aid me in helping my first grader with her school homework. She needs a leopard for her leopard habitat and Mod Podge with my scroll saw is going to save the day. Now besides having a huge mess down here, I've got my printed out picture of my leopard and then I've got a scrap piece of MDF and I have my matte Mod Podge. So what I'm going to do is apply a thin layer to the back of this, stick it down and let that dry. The hard part here is giving it time to dry. But once this is dry, I'm gonna apply a second layer over the top. You might get an air bubble, but most of the time if you let it dry completely, it evens out on its own, so don't worry too much about that. Once the top coat is fully dry, go ahead and apply a second coat. And now that this is completely dry, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out with a number five modified geometry blade. Okay, so here it is cut out. I don't know if you could tell in my cutting video, but the tail was coming off. I must not have applied enough Mod Podge on the bottom, so it was coming unstuck. So I went ahead and applied more and glued it back down. The edges are pretty smooth just because it was a really good blade, but I'm gonna take a micro zip sander and I'm gonna go ahead and sand over the edges just to make them all really nice and smooth, especially where maybe the paper was coming up just a smidge. Then once it's all nice and sanded, I'm gonna apply one last coat of Mod Podge over the whole thing. If you decide that you wanna paint your piece, Mod Podge is a really good sealer or a primer for the paint. I'm just gonna leave it as is, but I wanna protect it, make sure it all stays intact. So I'm gonna do one last layer and it'll be all set. So this is a great little technique to keep in mind if you're making puzzles or hey, you can even make a whole little zoo if you have a kid that would enjoy them. I even Mod Podge for earrings sometimes. You can use paper in all sorts of ways in a lot of different wood projects. So it's a fun little trick just to keep in your back pocket. If you guys enjoyed that and want to try something else using Mod Podge, I recommend a puzzle and you can find a tutorial and a puzzle template right over here. Thanks for watching and happy Mod Podging and scrolling.